All right, folks. How many of you out there are working on a design that includes a power supply? What about a battery? What about motor control? Yeah, that's what I thought. There are a lot of you out there working on an electronic design today that needs battery management, power supply management, or even power factor correction. But many of you out there may not know about current sense resistors and how they can help you with your next design. But that's okay, because we're here to help. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. If you're working on a telecom, consumer, or industrial design, current sense resistors can give you a great way to detect and convert current to voltage. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Clinton Stifler from Vichet joins me to discuss the what, where, and how of Vichet's WFC and WFCP current sense resistors. We investigate how these current sense resistors are constructed, how the flip chip design of these current sense resistors reduces TCR compared to other chip resistors, and how you can get started using a Vachet current sense resistor in your next design. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Vachet. Hi, Clinton. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, Amelia. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Okay, so we're talking about current sense resistors today. But Clinton, before we get into the details, can you give us a refresher on exactly what a current sense resistor is? Of course. And I'd like to start off with an example as well. So when someone tells you they have a vehicle, there are certain images that you get when someone tells you they have a sports car versus a pickup truck. Each one has a certain function in terms of power reliability. If it's a paved road, they both can get from A to B, but they have different functions that they serve. Same with a current sensor resistor versus a normal resistor in a circuit. So a current sensor resistor's purpose is to create a voltage signal to accurately measure current. And sometimes they're referred to as shunt resistors, but to get this accurate current measurement, the resistors will have a very low resistance value, a low TCR, temperature of coefficient of resistance, which we'll get into a little bit later, and a tight tolerance. Now, much like vehicles where there's different technologies with internal combustion engines, hybrid EV vehicles, there's different materials and technologies that can help achieve this for current sense resistors. So you have power metal strip, thin film, thick film, foil on copper, foil on ceramic, each one of these is a different construction type to build the current sense resistor. Now, where they're used are power supplies, inverter drives, motor controls, battery management, power factor correction. So a rule of thumb is anything with a battery or power supply can utilize a current sense resistor. So what does Vichet offer in terms of current sense resistors? So they have a wide offering. Now these, with a thick film, you have the RCWE, RCWL product. All of these resistors shown, as you can see, are actually below the one ohm mark. So we said at the beginning that current sense resistors are low ohm products. This shows you kind of the range of these products. So the thick film will give you the power and reliability, the RCWE, RCWL, and then thin film, Vichet has the NCW product, which gives you precision, reliability, and stability. And then you have the metal foil, which we'll be diving into more thoroughly today, the WFC and WFCP series. This is a low footprint, 0402, low TCR construction, metal foil construction. And then you have the power metal strip of the WSL series, which gives you low resistance values and it has high pulse applications. So those are just some of what Vichet has to offer in this group. Excellent. Now, Clinton, how are current sense resistors constructed? What are we looking at in terms of substrate here? Okay, so there is a difference in the technology. So the power metal strip is a solid self-supporting resistance element. So the red on this slide represents the cross-sectional thickness of the resistive material. So for the power metal strip, it's 8.9 thousandths of an inch. In some cases, it's thicker. 
the thick film technology that you could see has the resistance material on top. So it's a composition of metal and glass matrix. And it's a reason for the pixelated red metal layer. And that is 0.8 thousandths of an inch. And then you have the thin film, which is a continuous metal layer, but it's very thin to about 0.25 thousandths of an inch. And then you have the metal foil. This is that WFC, WFC product, which has a thickness up to 7 thousandths of an inch. So those are the different types of construction methods. Okay. Now, Clinton, manufacturing is a hot issue these days. So where does Vichet have manufacturing locations today? Great question. And yes, it is. Vichet Dale has production in many areas of the world that do a broad range of resistor technologies from low value current sense power metal strip to high reliability and high voltage thick film, high precision and high reliability thin film and pulse power wire wound products and foil among others. So manufacturing for several of these products occur in more than one location and it provides a robust and flexible supply chain in the event of a natural disaster or other disruptive events that we've seen over the past couple of years. So the current sense products are produced in four geographically separate regions, which are identified in green. So they are Columbus, Nebraska in the USA, Beersheba, Israel, Juarez, Mexico, and Taiwan. And the WFC, WFC product that we'll be talking about today is manufactured in Taiwan. Additionally, Vache has its own certified independent third-party test lab located in Columbus, Nebraska. Excellent. Okay, so let's take a closer look at those WFC and WFCP resistors. What do these components buy me as an engineer? Okay, so this is a brand new product line for Vache Dale that we're very excited about. And the difference between the WFC and WFCP series, which we'll dive into a little bit more, but basically the WFCP series is the higher power version. So the WFC is standard, WFCP is higher power. Now, these go in resistance values down to one milliohm. It is the smallest footprint that Vache Dale current sense offers in terms of footprint down to the 0402. It is a high power density product and it has a low TCR. Now, applications for this go battery management, power management, inverter control, motor control, power factor correction. And the markets for these will be industrial consumer goods. So the white goods in terms of dishwashers, microwaves, ovens, computer and power management, DC to DC converters will all be great market segments for this product. So, Clinton, what kind of resistance range are we talking about here, and how does that compare to surface area? So, for the WFC and WFCP series, they have a resistance range of 1 milliohm to 180 milliohms. Now, as you can see from the Power Metal Strip WSL series, it has a surface area of 45 thousandths of an inch squared. So, and then the RCWE is a little bit lower. It's below that 40,000 inch squared mark, but it has a little bit higher resistance range going right below one ohm. Well, there was a little gap created, which the WFC and WFCP now fill in terms of surface area with a lower resistance range than the RCWE can previously hit and a smaller footprint than the WSL series could hit. So going into the resistance ranges for the WFC and WFCP series broken down by case size, you can see in the middle of the graph, the 0508, the 0603, the 0612, and the 0805 have a maximum resistance of 30 mil ohms. And the 0508 goes down to 5 mil ohms, while the 0603, 0612, and 0805 go down to 1 mil ohm. Now, the 0402 has a resistance range of 2.5 milliohm to 50 milliohm, while the 1206 to the right side of the graph encompasses the entire resistance range that this series offers from 1 milliohm to 100 milliohm. So, Clinton, power density is also crucial here as well, right? What kind of power density are we really talking about here? So, power density is a big benefit this series provides. When utilizing components in a design with a high power density, designers have the ability to use less components and shrink their board design. So as designers look to reduce the size of the PCB, the importance of power density in current sense resistors 
increases. So the WFC and WFCP series fit well into this space. So looking at the 0402 case size, the WFCP offers a power rating of a quarter of a watt in the 2.5 milliohm to 50 milliohm range. So this series offers a power density of over 300 watts per square inch. The 0603 is a bigger footprint and with a power rating of up to a third of a watt, the power density is right about the 275 watts per square inch. And then the 0805 and 0508 have the same surface area and both provide a power rating of half of a watt. So their power density is 125 watts per inch squared. And then lastly, the 1206 and 0612 power density goes up to 275 watts per square inch due to the two watt power rating of the WFCP 0612 in the one milliohm to five milliohm range. So, Clinton, how are the WFC and WFCP constructed? Okay, so these are built for power and precision. And we'll get a little bit more into it in the next slide. But the flip chip design that we're going to discuss helps reduce TCR and leads to better sensing accuracy. And the way it does this is the red lines that you can see on this flip chip design to the left and then a standard film to the right shows the current path that it takes through the resistor. So a flip chip design, what that means is basically the resistance element is closer to the PCB. So instead of being on top, it's on bottom. So the current path can flow into the terminals and go directly across without having to go up the terminations, across down the terminations back into the PCB board. So what this does in terms of help precision is it can eliminate parasitic resistance that gets introduced by the solder and the copper terminals, which would be affected in the standard film product. So with current sense resistors, the typical sense trace locations are located right in the middle of the pads. And with the flip chip design, with the current able to go in a more direct path, it helps provide the power and precision that you require out of a current sense resistor. So Clinton, when it comes to resistance, we also need to look at the temperature coefficient, right? Exactly. So that is known as TCR. Sometimes it's known as a resistant temperature coefficient. And the important thing is that this is a reversible change in resistance as a function of temperature. And it's present in all resistors. TCR affects the resistant element by the applied power, sometimes referred to as the power coefficient of resistance. And these unit changes are specified in parts per million per degree C. This change is typically nonlinear in a graph, but for convenience, we're going to express it as a straight line function for this demonstration. Now, typically, when you talk about resistors, you have an ideal case, right? The ideal case here will be zero parts per million. That means no matter what your temperature is, your resistor is going to read the same reading as what it is. If you have a one ohm resistor, no matter what temperature, it's going to be reading at one ohm. The TCR can also be represented in terms of percentages. So for this example, we're going to look at a 500 parts per million, kind of go to the extreme level. And we're going to look at the resistance value over a 100 degree temperature swing from 25 degrees Celsius to 125 degrees Celsius. So you could see at 125 degrees Celsius for a 500 parts per million part, there is a 5% shift. So that means if you have a 100 ohm resistor, it might be 105 ohms, or it might be 95 ohms. Now at larger values, this might not be as big of an issue, but when you're talking current sense resistors at very low values, you need them to be accurate and precise. So you are looking for a low TCR component. So for these components, the WFC and WFCP series, we have a TCR available down to 50 parts per million. So what other benefits does the WFC bring to the table? So we also have a side termination or reverse termination part available on the WFCP series 0805 and the 0612. So some benefits here with a side termination, you have a larger terminal area which means you don't have to neck down from the power bus into the component so current can flow a little bit more freely without any constraint. 
And it's also reducing the current path to a shorter distance versus the standard terminal part. So what this does is it lowers the inductance as well. So if you have an application with high frequency, this reverse termination product is perfect for that because of that reason. It also has a larger terminal area connecting to the PCB, which helps with the thermal dissipation of the part. Great. Now, if my audience is ready to get started, Clinton, what kind of additional resources do you guys have to offer? Okay. The Shade Dale prides itself on what information we can provide. The more information we can provide, the better it is for designers and engineers. So we have a wide range available. Now, this is not product specific. This is what the Shade Dale offers as a whole. We have data packages in terms of reliability reports, qual data, PPAP documentations. We have 3D models available, which you can find on our data sheets as well. We have performance data in terms of power versus temperature, TCR, inductance. We have design tools that we help designers with. So in this specific case, if there's a certain pulse requirement that a designer is looking for, they can use a dual wizard design tool to help get to that. We also put out white papers and brochures to help understand TCR, thermal management, automotive. And then we also have the ECQ200 for parts that are automotive qualified. And then we have automotive grade, which is a Vache standard, which takes AEC Q200 to further testing to meet more strict requirements. So the data sheet is often what a designer considers when choosing a resistor. Data sheets for the current sense resistors make it much easier to find deeper information through links to additional resources. So these include 3D models, like we talked about, you can also find potential upgrades to a current part that you're looking at. We give brochures that explain what certain products have capabilities of and what's available. And then we also give additional documents related to the product. So in this case, it's the WSL marking and the decade values that are available. And then we also have an easy connection to technical contacts that are specific to the product. So at the bottom of each Fiche data sheet, you can find a technical questions email address that will go to the appropriate team members that are responsible for that product. Excellent. Well, this has been a lot to take in today, Clinton. Can you recap your main points for me? I can. So the WFC and WFCP series is a brand new product for Vache. It is a foil on ceramic product with resistance ranges from 1 milliohm to 180 milliohms, power ratings up to 2 watts, the case size range going from 0402 to the 1206, with the 0402 being the smallest case size value that Vache offers. And then we also have low TCR down to plus or minus 50 parts per million per degree C and high power density. So this is an exciting new product that we're excited to get out into the market. Excellent. Well, Clinton, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Amelia, I appreciate it. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Vache. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it. It's right across the top. Or check out YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal.